Hi everyone. Well, today I decided to transform my least utilized uh, pencil case into something more usable. Uh, since the pandemic in particular, I've had both of these at home and I use this one a lot. This one has um, like the Sarasa pens on it that I use uh, for all my Bible journaling and everything, as well as these. It also has um, like the gold pen that I love from Pentel, as well as the white Signo. But I usually use this more on um, my drawings and stuff. So I'm gonna take it out of my everyday pouch and I'm going to focus this video on making a uh, painting and sketching travel kit for myself. So I'm going to transfer all of the stuff out of here that I'm not going to need on a sketch, regular basis type of thing. So I did get a few things that I wanted to include in my palette. For example, I want a small natural sponge. I'll probably have to cut one of these down because any of these are gonna to be too big uh, for this pouch. So we'll start by taking things out that we don't need in here anymore in order to make the travel pouch. So we'll start with the lid. In here, I am keeping this because this is to take off masking fluid. So how I store my masking fluid is I keep the lid on it. That way this doesn't get clogged. So I use this and then rinse it and then reset it. So um, I just wash this out and keep it stored like this, but this I'll put the lid and I'll just store them flat inside of here. So um, this is going to stay inside of this pouch and I think actually I'm gonna store them together since I use them together. This is a Fude pen called Fude um, 1.5. This one is a nice thick roller ball for nice outlines. I actually follow um, Dina Wakely and she uses these a lot. So I bought a, um, a few of them off of Amazon in a pack. So that is going to stay in here. It's a nice black pen. Uh, for shading, I have these two gray pit pens. Um, I don't know if I'm going to, I haven't really used these yet that much, but I think I'm going to go ahead and hold on to them just to see. Now they're both a brush tip, just like this, but they're two different shades. One is, this one is cold gray and this one's cold gray three and this one is cold gray four. So they're, one is just a little bit darker than the other one. And then this is a really popular brush pen that I haven't used very often, but I do like this type of tip and thought it could also be a nice addition to keep along. So these I do plan to keep in here, but we'll see where we want to put them. So first I'm gonna go ahead and start with keeping these guys all together. And I still have room right here, so I think I know what I'm going to pack right there. So another underutilized case that I've had is this one here. This one just sits on my desk, and it has a lot of drawing things in it that I do use. I do pull things out of here, but not very efficiently. <laughs> so I'm going to take this for travel. These are my two travel water brushes. I think initially my initial plan was for this to be my travel kit, but since it's metal and I really love the pattern, I don't want it to get damaged. So I find myself not leaving the house with this because I don't want to damage my tin. So I need to move my travel items into here. So I will be taking these travel brushes. These are both by um, Escoda. So they have a little hole on the bottom. And then this is the Perla, I believe. Yeah, number two, Escoda Perla. And they really post very nice and firm. So I really like that. And 
And then this one, I think, is the Versatile. Yeah, number six, Escoda Versatile. I love this one, too. This one's nice. That has a perfect belly, but also the perfect tip. So this is a great travel brush. So since I have actual water brushes, I'm actually going to also try to pack this water container by Faber-Castell. Um, it's one of those that pops open and closes. So it pops open like that, and then the brush can sit on it very easily. So, and you can actually have like two brushes at the same time. Super convenient to have. And I always have a water bottle with me, so that will be super easy. Another thing I wanna pull out of here definitely is my water spritzer. That's gonna go inside of here. Um, I have a couple of the, I'm gonna leave this one here at home. This one is called a color race photo blue i've only recently been introduced to this because of the release from blackwing with their photo blue limited edition uh, blackwing pencil you'll see the core is blue the benefit of this is if you sketch with this you're able to take those sketch lines out of your scan um with a, with a certain setting within Photoshop. So this photo blue makes it really easy to do that. So I'm going to keep this one inside of this pencil case. Um, probably also this, this is the Pilot Color 0.7. And again, this is the blue as well. So I have this along with the blue lead. You'll see the lead is actually blue soft blue and a 0.7. So those are the ones I'm actually going to put inside of my travel case. So I'll keep this one in here. Uh, the HB pencils, again, I'm gonna leave these at home as well because I've really grown to love this uh, black wing. This one is the pearl. So again, these erasers can be replaced um, but what else is nice is because of the eraser style, it lays flat, so it won't roll away on me when when I'm outdoors. So that's another reason why I wanna take the Blackwing uh, Photo Blue Pencil as well. It's nice and flat. So all of these will stay in here. Um, I have various sketching pencils in here. If I need one later, I can always grab this. This is a nice little extender. Um, this is kind of neat. I've seen a lot of people use these out on the go. Um, I'm undecided still if I'm gonna take my little sandpaper thing with me. We'll see on what I end up deciding to use, but I'll leave my other um, eraser in here and just take that gum eraser. And I know I have another gum eraser around this house somewhere. Oh, this is the other thing I wanna take. So this is a great way to refill uh, the water brushes. So I will be taking some water brushes with me. So I like to keep that. Um, this is another great one for sketching. This is the Mono Zero Eraser. So that is going to come as well. All right, so the rest of these can stay home. I can still use these um, to sketch what I want at the house. Um, that'll be a really good still a good selection for me to be able to use at home. All right, and then we're gonna add this pen over here to the pile. So we'll go ahead and tuck this eraser, this gummy eraser up here. And so maybe this pouch is all taken care of. All right, so now here's where I need to make some decisions because I love all these pens. That's why they are in here. Um, this one is a Zig, this one is a 05. So just for variety and because different pens just react differently with different media, I'm probably going to you know, keep a variety of pens, but I love my Zig, so that one is staying for sure. This one is a Faber-Castell Pit pen, and these are really good too. Um, 
but this one is the extra small. So the, it's a very, very, very fine line, which my other ones that I have in here that are black are pretty thick. So that's why I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one with my selections. Now I have the whole set of brown and I know I don't need to carry the whole set of brown. So this one's cool because it's a brown brush pen. I have a black brush pen, so I definitely wanna keep a brown brush pen with me. So now the hard part is deciding on <laughs> which tips of these I wanna keep. This one is super, super, super fine. It's a 005. I rarely use this size, so this size is probably staying home. Um, this one is really neat. This is actually one of my favorite, I forget what this is called. They call it PN, and I forget what that stands for, but this is actually one of my favorite types of tips. So I think I'm going to keep that one. And then this one is a one, which is similar, but I like that tip better. So I think I'll keep that one in this bag and this other one will stay home. Then I have these guys, which same thing, this one's a zero one, so it's a pretty fine tip. And since I have that other one in there, we'll keep that for now. Here's a zero five, a little bit thicker. I do really love this, this size as well. Um, for now, I'll throw it in there just to see if I have room. This is really fun because as a Sharpie, it's good with water. So I have, oh, as I mark myself. So I have a regular Sharpie on this end, but I like this to mark my watercolor pans, which is what I'll be doing for that Daniel Smith set right there. And this one is just super popular. I haven't used it much. It is a thick uh, black brush pen. So I'll probably test it out and decide between this one and, where's my other brush pen? This one and this guy here. So I'll probably make a decision between these two, do a water test and things like that before I decide ultimately which one I'm going to keep. All right, so what all is staying and what all is leaving out of this giant pouch area here. So I have a ton of lead and since the pencil I have in here, yes, it's blue, but it's a 0.7. So I think if I keep this, if I happen to want to use that metal, um, mechanical pencil, this blue one here, if I wanna switch it out for the blue lead for regular lead, I could do that. So the 0.9, I am going to put in my home stash over here. I don't even know why I have 0.9 to be honest. I don't have a pencil with 0.9 lead, go figure. I am keeping the ruler, definitely need that. This little eraser is coming out. This one is a 0.5 lead and I have these at home, but I don't think I'll have one in here. So we'll put that in the at home pouch. This is an interesting eraser, but I think I'll keep it in my at home pouch as well. Um, not really something I would use with my sketching. It has like, you can always have a corner type of deal. Um, it's a good eraser, but I think the gum eraser for the purposes that I'm doing is even better. Love this Arches eraser. This is a small version of a big version that I have, and um, this is great. So this I'm going to try to keep in here as well. Now I've got a ton of these Daiso brush pens in here, but since I've, oh, sorry. Um, so this one is similar to what I have with the brown. And then I just have so many brush pens right now. I think I'm going to keep, pull these out and keep these at home for right now. And uh, we'll figure these guys out later. So they are going to stay in my home pouch as well. But I think I'm going to kind of group them together so that they don't get mixed in with everything else since they are kind of special to themselves. All right, so then I've had these for years. These are my Pilot um, Papermate flare pens. These are great for planners. So these are great for staying home. Um, this has been a really great planner pen, pl 
planner marker that I have loved. So I use these in note taking all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop all of these inside of my at home planner at home planner pouch. I have these from Traveler's Company. So this have a nice trip with the airplane I thought would be perfect for this pouch. I have three of these types of clips and they're really great for holding down book pages. So I think I can spare one to have on the go with me. And that one has a very fitting theme. So I'll take that one. Here's another Micron, this one's a 03, great detail brush, but have plenty right now, so I'm gonna put that one on the side. All right, here's the Mild Liners. Absolutely love these. Oh, I have a different pouch that this goes in, so I'll take that one away. Um, these are also amazing, and I use these all the time. So I am going to combine these into my at home pouch because I use these with my planners all the time. My planners and my Bible reading journal, these are my go-to markers for sure. They're great for highlights. Cute little pencil, but again, I have enough going on in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this and add it to my at home stash. This is another white gel pen. This is a Jelly Roll. And I like this one, but the other white one, the Signo, is really my favorite. Signo just feels more juicy to me. And I just love the feel of my Signo. So I'm going to switch, swap it and put my uh, Jelly Roll with my at home stuff. All right. So you'll see how nice and deep this is. So I thought this would be the perfect place to be able to lay down my travel bowl like this. And then this is the paint pan I plan to carry. It's, um, I'm going to put the Essentials Daniel Smith watercolors in here, which is just a set of six. It's going to be these six colors. I got this on Amazon. I'll make sure to link all these items below. Um, of where I got them. So this one I definitely am going to convert and put in here. But since I haven't done that yet, for the moment I'm just going to temporarily, for placement's sake, put this Jane Davenport set in here just to hold my space. So this one, it has great colors. You can do a lot with it because you do have at least one set of primaries. You have the blue, the red, and the yellow. Um, but it's, you know, this is definitely um, a beginner's grade. Uh, these are a lot stiffer, takes more water to activate, etc. cetera. Um, and so I wanna put my Daniel Smith combo in here. So that is going in here. And then I feel like this water spritzer will fit nicely in here. Also my ruler will fit nicely in here. You can see it's just the perfect height. So it's kind of camouflaged, but fits perfectly. Um, my little clip can fit. And then I really love the look of this sponge right here. I think it has a lot of texture. I think that's the one we'll take with us. So the nice thing with a natural sea sponge is you get so much different texture for clouds and waves. And so um, I could cut him smaller, but I wanna see if that'll work for now. I think it doesn't really block anything too badly. All right, so we'll keep that there. So I think since all my erasers are up here, I'm going to do, I'm going to put my arches eraser up here next to my gum eraser. I feel like they all fit nicely up there. Gum eraser, arches eraser, and then masking fluid and masking fluid eraser. Okay, so that's what's in there. And then, it's nice because you can really strap everything into place here. So now, I know what I have on the other side is more pen loops, so I'm going to wait on filling all of these. 
Let's try to figure out where we want to put some of these other items first, including my brushes. I'm not sure. So the side has a flip side that zips open as well. Let's see what we have in here. Okay, so I know I need my scissors. That is for sure. I love this gold pen as well. So both these Signos are great for accents. Um, I love this because if there's a page that is really bugging me in my journal, I can use this, it's a perforation cutter, and it will cut the top sheet off, to make it a perforated edge, and I can cut it out of the notebook. So I really do love carrying that. It's like a, I don't know, automatic fix for me. These scissors in particular, I carry from EK Success because with the black coating, they are nonstick. So that makes it really good for cutting washi tape. This I'm taking out because I use this on my planners. This is great double stick tape. Actually, you know what? This is a great idea for travel journals. I'm going to order another one of these. I'm leaving this in here. I love this double stick tape. This is probably my second or third order of these from Hobonichi. These are great to just be able to tuck things into your journal um, at any given time. So I really, really love using this. So I think this is actually going to stay. Um, here's another, this is an Ollie clip, which actually is not a bad idea to go ahead and keep for a travel journal. So I'm gonna stick my Hobonichi stickers, my double, double stick tape in here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out since this is more of something I like to save and don't wanna lose on the road. I've had this since the 1990s. This was one of my original, um, my Melody things that I've had forever. I'm trying to find a date on it. I don't even see a date on it anymore. So I am going to carefully put this one away. All right, so these, we're gonna put the HB blue here and the pink here. Um, this is actually meant to, like it'll hold the flap so that you don't lose stuff. So I guess I'll use it how it's meant to be used. I'll put my Ollie clip here. This could be another handy page holder. Um, okay, so here is where I'm going to save my two black wing pencils. These are very long pencils. And as you can see, I'm going to need to put a pencil sharpener in here too, because I need to make sure I have something to sharpen these with. So we're gonna put those two up here. And then my decorative pens my gold one and my white one, Signo, I'm going to put here. Yeah, perfect. So this is the one I specifically bought for travel. It's a um, Faber-Castell, so it is a good quality sharpener by them, even though it looks super small and ineffective, but it's actually a really good pencil sharpener. So I do have an even better one that I bought from Blackwing, well, it's not Blackwing brand. I forgot the name of it. I'll see if it fits in the end, but for now, we'll, we'll go with this little bitty one. All right, so is anything else gonna go on this side for now? I'm trying to think. All right, back to the other side. All right, so we still have plenty of room over here. So one thing I definitely wanna add is my pipette and my two travel brushes. They're gonna go right there with the watercolor palette and my pencil sharpener. Okay. So now to downsize these selections here. Okay, so what I know for sure I have not been using these very efficiently, so we will whittle that down. We know for sure that I want 
my Sharpie. That is a need. I use Sharpie all the time on the go. Um, I know I want my zig. And I have a ton of erasers, so I don't really need this one, but I think it's so tiny it will fit just about anywhere. Love this thicker Fuda pen. I feel like I'll get the thicker line that I'm looking for. And I definitely want a brown on hand. So this is, yeah, this is a nice detailer for the browns. I'm not a huge brush pen user, so maybe I will just narrow it down to the one that I see people use the most. And maybe I will try that out more and see how it goes. And then, so that's the brown, I'm sorry, that's the black brush pen. And then here's the brown brush pen. And then this guy can pretty much fit anywhere. Yeah, he can squeeze in right there. All right, so we've really narrowed that down and we have all our black liners pulled out. Um, the only one really in question now is this last blue one. Oh, I love this one too. Okay, you know what? Brown brush pen out. We are going with the PN instead. This is the one that I just find that that's the type of one I tend to gravitate towards more. So we're going to keep that. Um, this is the most compact travel brush I have seen to date. It is Pentel. And what's nice about this one is it has a nice fat body to retain a lot of water, but it also has that fine tip point. So if you only had to carry one water brush, I would say this is the winner. If you compare it to all the other water brushes, these are my Kuretake ones that I've had for years. Um, you can see just the length and difference. This is called the Petite. Pentel does have bigger ones that are, I want to say they're probably about this long, they're not as long as these Kuretake ones, but um, they're still pretty long. The next shortest water brush, I do not recommend the Derwent. The Derwent are huge. So these, they hold a ton of water. If you only had to take one brush, I guess that's great, but I prefer to use these at home. They are easy to fill. Um, I'll do a comparison video on all my water brushes here pretty soon. Super easy to fill because it has a wide open hole there. There's no squeezing or anything like that. It's just load it and go. Um, so that one is super convenient that way. But it's they are huge. Um, this is the Jane Davenport water brush that you can get like at Michael's that I got originally with this can here. And if you compare it, this is the Faber-Castell. So you can see it's shorter and you can... Uh, suction up water say out of your water bottle with this it's um, not one that you use a pipette with it's literally suck the water and then you use it that way so the only pain with this is that if you're full of water um, you're going to need to push out your water like a syringe in order to get this one compact again to fit in here but I do really love the tip on this one so this is my water brush of choice for sure that goes in here. Um, the Caran Dash are the same as the Faber-Castell in that they have that plunger in the back. So same thing, they are nice and petite, they fit great. Um, they're the same height as the Faber-Castell um, and they are definitely way shorter than the Kuretake brushes and much smaller than the Derwent. But um, this one is an interesting, it's a different nib than what is on any of my other water brushes. It's almost like a marker. It's like you could put ink in it and ink with it or um, just dip it in your, in your watercolor and be able to just write with it. So I have not been able to experiment with this one a lot yet. And just because I want to, I'm going to stick it in here as well. 
So water brushes, travel brushes, watercolor palette, water cup erasers, sketching pencils, uh, photo erasable pencils, everything that I need fits right in this travel pouch. So I'll list all the items below. They'll all be listed uh, with my Amazon links. Those are affiliate links if you choose to use them. It doesn't cost you any more. All it does is help my channel. Um, if you decide to buy something, they'll pay me a small commission. Um, I truly appreciate y'all's support. Thanks for viewing my videos as well as the ads with them. That helps tremendously. So thank you guys so much and I'll see you on the next one.